No, honestly, it's not a good day, but you turn that camera around. You celebrate, you celebrate your battle, but you cannot celebrate your war. Soon to follow you, the Salford Storm. Look at their faces, they've seen how Chester treated us. And it's going to be a long day for them. Everyone plays a team today, yeah? I want to see my bickering. Yeah, we're all a family. I love all you, man. Yeah? We're about to win today. Yeah, no matter the fucking, no matter what it is, we came out here as winners. Yeah? No one's a loser. Okay? Everyone get up? Yeah, yeah. Sam, let's fucking do this. Let's fucking do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, boys. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Yeah. Line cap. All right, guys, come here, come here, come here, come here. Starting offense, starting defense. Listen, here at Salford Sport, we want to cover every sport. That is the dream. And, you know, this is the one I've been looking forward to personally forever. The American footballer, Salford Storm, taking on Chester. I'll be our commentator for today. Bix Williams, enjoying by me. Louis Speed. Louis Speed. They give us so much love, don't they, Bix? And it's an absolute pleasure to cover these lads. And I'm just excited to see how things go, you know. I've been speaking to a few of them. They've been telling me. They're ready, and we'll see it today. Salford, there. Uh, Taking the better of Chester so far over Varsity as a whole, let's hope to keep it up, Bix Williams. Mm. Well, yeah, we were, we've just been on the backhand of a football defeat. Uh, that is the English football. And it is really annoying, you know, when you have such a lead and such an advantage over the opposition. But they yeah. just they act like they've won it after a, a Absolutely. loss. Absolutely. You know what? That's fine. We'll let them celebrate for now. You can celebrate, you can celebrate today. But... They won, a, they won a battle, they didn't win the war, Bix. I think and, that's a great uh, way of putting it. This is another battle here today for the Salford, what are they called? <laughs> Salford, Salford Storm. Oh, that Salford is a great Storm. run. That is a great run from the quarterback. And that's he a six. Over there. Unbelievable start Touchdown. from the Salford Storm. And it's six for the Storm. Absolutely unbelievable here. What a great start from the boys, though. They've been preparing for this. Bix has been speaking to a lot. To them a lot throughout the year. Oh, there's, there's some contention. Bix, Don't know if it's what's in the feeling in camp? You know, you've been speaking to a lot of these boys. Are they confident today? Oh, <laughs> I don't think it's possible to go beyond confident, but they somehow are. <laughs> they've been, you know, they've been gloating, they've been saying, "This is our." We may be in Chester, but this is still our house. Yeah, always. Now, okay, always. I'm not 100 percent sure if that went ahead. It might have been um, taken out. I'm just, if you don't mind taking this, I'm just gonna. Go. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, I'm not really sure where the referee is here, but it's uh, it's time to kick off. You might notice, uh, me especially, um, I'm not the biggest uh, watcher of uh, American football, but I'll try my best here today. I love the Super Bowl. You know, my dad's a big fan, so I've watched a little bit. I've watched a little bit of the Chiefs. You know, Taylor Swift's boyfriend. He's not here today, unfortunately. They are not going to be happy hearing that. <laughs> I apologise, boys. <laughs> I apologize. Um, unfortunately... Uh, we stepped out of bounds there, the quarterback just taking it over the side, and it's not ideal, but still got to be optimistic. And it's a shame that um, we're not seeing full contact today. I think that would be very it's, cool with all the gear. It's a shame, it's a shame. It's, uh, it's tag football, isn't it, today? Yeah. You know, I'm sure a lot, of the, a lot of the people watching have played tag rugby in the past. It's more or less the same, a few rule differences. Um, a lot safer, of course. Run it! Run it! Run it. Can they oh, get themselves the on the side? He's going to go all the way. Oh. And he's done it again. Absolutely brilliant from the Sulphur boys. What a start. I don't know if it's going to be given. I don't know if he was brought down near the end. The bench are happy with that one. Oh, no, it's going to be one. given. The bench are happy with that one. Manager here. What's the manager's name, Bix? Right, okay. I made this mistake when doing the package. Uh, Max there with the camo cap on. Yeah. Um, he is the official. Offensive coordinator. Uh, the offensive coordinator. Yeah, yeah, that's, it's very cool. Um, so you'll have like different head coaches, kind of. Yeah. yeah. He's an American though, so he knows what it's like to play this sport on the ground. Of course. Unlucky there from Salford, just out of bounds. We've got right for like five minutes. Man. Yeah. Thank you. Bix has just left us, but I have to say, it's been a proud moment for all of us here today to come over to Chester to cover varsity. And this is one of those sports that often in England doesn't get covered as much, but we are loving the fact that we are bringing this to you today. Lovely bit of chanting from the sidelines, and, uh, and yeah, Salford ready to take the kickoff. Don't rest it on your chin. Sorry, yeah, yeah. So, if I get any of these terms wrong, I apologise. I'm sure you guys at home know what I mean. Um, right, Salford, Salford with Salford with the hand egg. That's another six from Salford. I think Salford absolutely dominating today. This is an. I think I think we're going to win this. I think we're going to run away with it. To be honest, Chester don't seem prepared. Salford seem like they are prepared for this for a long, long time, and they, that they have. 
Um, you know, these boys have been starting from the, from the start of the year. You've got a few American lads in there, you know, coming over over to the, the British Isles. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a new sport in England, but it's a growing sport, you know. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium have hosted a few American football games, or as football as uh, some of you, you boys watching might, might call it. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a growing sport in England, and uh, the boys are winning so far. Right, here we go. Let's start again. Absolutely wonderful play there. Excellent play from the Salford player right there. Okay. 7-0 up so far. What a great start from the Salford boys. The first quarter has been played. Well done, boys. Clearly the boys are happy with their performance so far. Cheeky little celebration from the boy there. Cheeky little celebration. What a wonderful start, and uh, hopefully we can keep this up from now on in. <laughs> okay, it's time for the kickoff from the Chester players. Oh, well, they've fumbled it. Fumble Ruski. I, I'm told that that is what you say. Um, Bix Williams about to join me back. Um, but yeah, absolute pleasure to cover these boys. They've been excellent all season. Uh, and it's always going to be hard to form an American football team when you're in England. But like I say, it's a growing sport. People in this, these aisles are loving the sport. And I, uh, you know, I think the Super Bowl this year especially has been so popular. You know, a lot of celebrities going to watch it. And um, yeah, so uh, Chester about to take the kickoff here. Bix Williams is joined uh, by You know, Marina. I would love to give a, sh a huge shout out to Keys TV. Keys TV, you know, legends. Keys TV are like some of the nicest people we've met today. No, Thomas, focus on, focus on the sport, mate. But Keys, like no, genuinely, they've been. Um, this is our first time here. We're a group full of first years. And Keys have been so respectful to us. They and just have been brilliant. Like communicating, and it's it's honestly so nice. And, and you know what we've talked about? I would love to work with them next year. Yeah, they're they're a lo lo lovely Salford uh, Salford organisation. And you know we you know we've got no money back in us. We've, we've come no, out Jake, of our own packet. Yeah, no, we, we've been this season maybe not for the football, but we've been to Leeds, we've been to Manchester, we've been Greater Manchester. We've tried to be here, there, and the everywhere. Shop. And, uh, and we appreciate some of the legacy Salford media helping us out, you know, especially Keys. They've done us a massive favour. Um, I can't remember some of the other, the other teams that have been here, but yeah, Keys especially. So uh, Chester here. Bix, how has your day been so far, mate? Have no, you enjoyed my the day? day? My day's been great. Sorry about the cutout of the audio there. Uh, just had a little technical issue. It's but, all right. We're back now, though, aren't we? Yeah, no, we are back. Um, I'm doing great. It's such a lovely day. Um, just great people all around. And it's it's nice to see something so passionate. You know, these guys, they have a dream. They have a dream to get a team in books. I had a dream. Yeah, you know, as much as we are against Chester today, I have to say, you know, we drove here this morning. It's a really lovely, lovely place. You know, the campus is great. It's very old timey, isn't it? And uh, you know, they've got a real setup here, and uh, there's a lot of respect between the both teams. I, I would say, but no, oh, yeah, I love it. It's, it's... right. They were talking before the match, and it looked nice. And it's well, it's good to see that no matter what happens today, you know, both sides can. Both sides. Oh, that is a that is an absolutely unreal catch, may I add, but. Uh... Life, death, Contest. taxes, and Salford winning varsity. It is inevitable, Bix. Oh, that could, be, that could be the worst commentator's <laughs> curse if that doesn't come true. Yeah, I apologise if we don't Something win. Something I've noticed is, and I will have to follow up, um, if you look on the scoreboard, it says 1-0. Now it's, I think... It mean, that means 7. We're 7-0 seven up at the moment. No, they're not. The score was not right. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a shoot. It could be... I say yeah. that because I've heard that from the sidelines. Have you? Okay. I've heard 7-0. Okay, they're making it there. Okay. Ah, oh, there you go. Whoa! What a call from this guy. Oh, uh oh, that seventh of four at the moment. You know, me and Bix, we're, uh, we're, we, we quite enjoy watching American football, don't we? But we're not completely sure on the rules. I know, I feel, I, do, I might want to put an apology to this, uh, the Storm because, listen, I, I know I know a bit about the sport, but 
it's not too much. I don't know. Well, the goal of Salford Sport is for one, one for us to gain experience, but for two, oh my gosh. Okay, that is so a for very forward. impressive run there. And, uh, the and to down. carry on from your point, Bix, I'm sure you agree. You know what? It's experience for us, but it's providing you guys at home with coverage for your sport. You know, I'm sure you're not going to be able to do that. And that's what we want. That's what we want. And you guys can watch back everything being recorded. And you have two, two funny little boys from Yorkshire on the sidelines just chatting away. But you know, we love it. And this is all respect to the boys, and uh, we're behind Salford all the way, aren't we, Bix? Yeah, no, I, can't, I can't not wait to do this next year. Yeah, so exciting. It's tough, and especially, like, I don't know, for, for me, I think the studies, they've been enjoyable. Maybe not what I expected, but I've, I've really enjoyed my first year at uni here. Yeah, me and, too. And I believe, you know... The people you meet as well. What a wonderful group of lads there are at Salford, uh, Salford University and Salford Sport. And the, and the boys playing the sports as well. You know, we've, we've got to know the teams this year. I know Bix has got a bit of a relationship with the, uh, the American football lads. And um, just a lovely bunch of guys. Just excited to watch our, our coverage, our content. And I, I, we all appreciate that here at Salford Sport TV, don't we? We really do, we really do. In Chester... Chester SU, we've had a, uh, a conversation with a few of them and they're really up for, you know, uh, helping get interviews, get all the footage we can um, and have fun. That's what they care about. That was Thomas there and uh, a great point from Thomas. Yeah, I really appreciate yourself at SU. They've been a lot more helpful than, oh, great like, you know, certain other people, but yeah. I, 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 appreciate, I appreciate that from Salford. Not Salford, Chester. Get in there! Anyway, back to the sport, back to the sport. I don't know how this and someone I've been speaking with a lot is Ben. Uh, the one screaming out right now with the beautiful uh, cheek markings. Um, yeah, love it. He says he loves a celebration. He actually plays for Team GB. Does he? That's yeah. incredible. Well I done. Know, he's, he's told me all about it, like how he goes. He's, he goes to Bristol for like training and really? stuff. Really? Well, honestly, it, it looks so cool. The stories he tells. Um, but yeah, I think he will be like the game changer for for us today of course was well, gone my the just for a few minutes but I'm not, so I'm not sure how he has implemented into the game it'll be interesting to see that bit is lovely to see I'm sure you know the, the few Americans watching at home it's it's nice to see the, the British implementing an American sport we're used to taking oh. our sports over there aren't we Bix and going hello the rest of the world have our sports that's what we do um, par fumble there from Chester and Salford <laughs> yeah. have a chance is it, called a, is it called a fumble rooski that's what I've been told. That's the rumour on the street. Um, I watched Finn Taylor, who's a comedian. He did like, a little NFL London thing. He kind of took the mick out of American football, in fairness, which is not what we're doing. But he's a very funny bloke. Very funny bloke. I think, from what the, what they're saying, the players, it should be 7-6, I think. I feel like that may just be like a personal feeling. That's a personal feeling, is it? Well, that's good. We're, well, we're not we'll sure. We'll see, anyways. Honestly, um, this is something we did with the cricket, and it's it's something that, you know, for the first time covering a sport, we're not entirely sure sometimes with the scoring. So, Can I we. Can I mentioned they want 7 6 as in another um, score for Chester. This is our team saying this. So, I'd probably follow them if they want Chester to have another point. They think they deserve another point. I see. But yeah, we're just going to go off what the board says, I think. I think, I think that's probably that, the best that, way that, to do if it. That's all we can do at this moment in time, whether the board follow what, what should be happening or not. That is what we're going to follow here at Salford Sport TV. Marauding run from the oh, Chester that's player. that's a really good that, run from the Chester number nine. That's an excellent play from the Salford player there. Salford are claiming uh, foul play there, Bix. Well, the tensions are definitely boiling. Both ends barking at each other. Yeah. The Max Salford bench being, being told this. to watch their mouth. It's getting a little bit hasty here, Bix Williams. Yeah, no, well. To be fair, you know, they're both passionate about it. You don't get to play that many games, of course, you know, in... And then when you have know, one game, your player's going to be against Chester. Well, you're almost destined for something like this to potentially no happen. No offensive coach walking on the field here. That's one thing I find very different. The the like 
how the coaches work and uh, the walking on the field and stuff like that. It's very different to sports that we're used to back on the British Isles, isn't it, Bix? Yeah, well, I, can't, I can't imagine Pep Guardiola being allowed to just... To walk on the pitch, yeah. yeah. No, but See, what, man what manager do you think would like really exploit that? Oh, Jose Mourinho. He's done it before, oh, I think. Yeah. Jose would be on that field every second of every minute. Oh, I can imagine Klopp being quiet. Oh, yeah. You know what, Klopp? I can't stand him, you know. I, I, I liked him for a long time, and he's, I've gone really off him recently. Anyway, so, sorry, Tom. Thomas the cameraman is a Liverpool fan. He's uh, looking at me very upset. Hey, I've got nothing against Liverpool. I just think it claps a little bit too much sometimes. Anyway, back to the American football. Chester starting off here. Chester's number nine. He has a wonder throw. right Can hand. They, oh, and Salford, Salford intercept. failed to get it. Great interception from Salford. Um, no. No, I don't. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Okay, marauding run from Chester. Can there be a tackle made? And he's grabbed that flag. Do you know what I do think is a shame? The, uh, the crowd for tonight. Uh, you had quite a few here for the football, and it's. Uh... I agree, Bix. And, and I think, unfortunately, that's kind of like a. Overall, that's that's a show that it's still growing. It's still quite yeah. grassroots, um, but but you know there is still people here, nonetheless. Oh yeah, no, there's a, there's a good enough turnout. It's um, I think people are forgetting the magnitude of this game. Like we are as a uni are only a few wins off of a varsity, a varsity win. Is it two wins off? We are. I, I believe so. Again, um, the volleyball fell short. Um, the hockey picked up a win. The men's, the women's, they're, currently they're going. Currently playing. Aren't yeah. They? So love to know how that's going. We are currently covering the netball. Um, so they're going to have to hope for a win as well. I think their game... Game is out, Bix Williams. <laughs> their game, game will be a... I'll do a little uh, Tom Turner, Turner shout-out. Howie, man! Shout-out Tom Turner. Oh, what a good, um, lovely, lovely bloke Scoreboard has been updated. It's the home side with 10, and we have 14. We're winning, Bix. Get in. If we win today, like you say, we know for a fact that we're only one win off. And like you say, the women's uh, women's hockey are playing right now. So you guys at home will know the end result of Varsity. Like I say, we literally cannot know Bix, can we? Because no, we're live in it. And that's what I've been... I've been a bit, um, a bit holdy offish of, you know, saying anything too soon. Because as good as things are, you know, we, we you, you'll have one loss here, one loss there. I feel like the men's football loss would have been a real... You just never know. Yeah, I mean, um, it's a very, very even game so far, 12-14. You just don't know which team is going to run out as, uh, as the victors here, do you, Bix? You really don't. You really don't. They seem confident, though, the Salford boys. Yeah, no, they play with some real intensity. And it's, you know, it's a two-point game. They're, they're going to need to bring that into their playing style. Aggressive, affirmative, but most importantly, accurate and disciplined. If they can, you know... Add all of these things together and show it off in their play. Should be good. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was 4-3 to the Chester boys in the men's football. I know a lot of people will be watching that game. Um, unlucky result there, but hopefully the, the American football boys will be looking to avenge. And the flag's thrown. Uh, yeah, that was pretty obvious. A pushing violation. Yeah, it's so weird watching you know a contact sport. It is. Be, it is. Where there's penalisations for for contact. It's, there's a lot of rules involved, and I feel like you have to really watch the sport for a long time to fully understand the rules. I'm sure there's people at home playing the game that they don't know all the rules. I mean, as a football fan, all these new rules being added. Yeah. I don't even know the rules of football anymore, Vic. So let alone American football. Well, I do feel a bit silly because you know I got here, I saw the uh, saw the goalposts already up, and I was expecting full court. Full court, full pitch. Uh, ben held there for the first. But, um, yeah, no, flag football, playing on a smaller pitch with smaller teams. So I am a bit in the dark with this one. Yeah, but, you know, I'm, we're covering the game, that's what matters, Bix. And, uh, I think 
the people watching at home will cut some slack. We're trying our absolute best here. Yeah, no, that is it. We, we're, we're a group of first years, aren't we? Really just trying to give it a go, you know. And there's not, we, haven't, we haven't really had much like this before. Just trying our best, and that's, that's all we can um, say. That's all you can do at the end of the day, Bix. Ooh, unlucky there. I think Salford just need to get in sync if they want something. Today, American football is played in public schools, colleges, and the pro circuit, where a big money in as players play the game on a 360 foot by 160 foot field. End zones are 10 yards long, and the players wear protective equipment, including helmets, <laughs> face masks, shoulders, thigh pads, and mouth guards. But there's none of that protective equipment here today. Apart from the mouth guards, the boys are fully on it. Um, is that 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. It's 14-13 to them at the moment. No, we're finding it hard. Yeah, we, we may not have informed, it's actually 14-13 Chester, and I think, I don't know what to be fair, most of it has come through Chester, so it doesn't surprise me all too much. They're going to assume, assume they're going to fix that soon. Absolutely. It's been nice to sit down. I'm sorry I feel, feel a bit silly sitting on the camera bag, but... Uh, it's right, a lot more comfort. I'm currently sat on the Astro turf. Ben, your flag fell. And that's unlucky there for Ben. He's um, he's done a good job with his jukes, but he's done a good job with his jukes, but just fell out of the pocket. And it's unfortunate. It's important to mention, Bix. This is a they're mixed teams here today. I think. Um, you know, no, no men's, women's uh, American football today. It's, it's a uh, mixed. It's just gender. American football. It's just American football, and that's what we like to see at the end of the day. Yeah, no, that's something that um, I think is really good because, of course, we're looking to cover the cricket. That's a very good catch. Great job to gain some yards there. But this is so good. This is a very, you know, inclusive team. That's something that you haven't seen. I've spoken to people who play for the Cricket Society, but. Don't actually play in games because no. of gender, which is quite a shame. That's cause very upsetting. If you're good enough to do it, why can't you get involved? Especially if there is no... You know, if you're good enough, you should play. Team. That's what 100%. I think. 100%. And as a, and as a brother from a sister that's, you know, she's played football all her life. I'm a big supporter of women in sport, and I think they should be allowed to play when they're good enough. Okay, Salford looking to make the difference here. Oh, and he's done such a good job there. Getting a good few yards. But his tag's just pulled near the end. Salford looking good. <laughs> and yeah, look. This is the same way. In theory, yeah. I'll tell you what, I cannot wait to get inside for the basketball. The sun slowly going away. I'm starting to get a little bit chilly, Bix. I've got my hat on, I've got my hood up, I've got my coat on. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't be anywhere else in the world right now than covering the Salford sport. Okay, Chester have a kick off here. There's a lot of strategy in this spot, isn't there, Lewis? There is. It's all about picking the right one and just executing it. Yeah, I don't think I could play it. I'm a bit too impatient, you know? Yeah, you just, yeah, with rugby it's a lot of just pass run, pass run. Hunting it forward and uh, with these boys they need to know all the rules, they need to know again. Hey, no arguing, it's okay, it's okay. Offset? It's an offset. Offset, of course, is part of the Migos. <laughs> an American... Rest, rest in peace, Takeoff. R.I.P. Takeoff, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd like to think that this varsity is in honour of Offset. What do you think, Bix? Um, I love the Migos. You would have loved this. 
He would have loved yeah. this if he was here. R.I.P. He was next up. Oh, he was there, actually. He was already yeah, on top. I think it was... There's a LeBron James... You know LeBron James is like, like that pathological lying trait? <laughs> yeah. I think he, he, he talked about how he was listening to the Migos back like before like anyone knew about them. <laughs> but it was like... It was ridiculous like how before anyone I, I, knew I actually about can't them. watch interviews with him because he makes me cringe too much, but... That's my favourite saying. What, cringe? No. Offset. That's LeBron James. LeBron James? I used to watch the Liverpool back in the day. Peter Crouch. One of my favourite players. One of my favourite legends for the Liverpool. Actually, off offense on me real quick. Offense on me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. we're gonna get some in-match analysis. Um, so currently, what is happening is Chess and providing an official game, and also essentially being made on the fly. Oh, that's completely dead. Shut up, shut up, I get it, sorry. Hello. The, the push, the, push the wire in properly, it wasn't in. Yeah, it, it just comes out like that easily. Oh, that's great. So, for anyone who's unaware of what's happening, the score is currently sitting at 14-13 to Chester. Chester are within the 10-yard zone. Um, Salford just had an incomplete drive. However, unfortunately, uh, Chester have not provided an official for this game, so we only have one official on the sideline, Oliver Sweetman, um, who is former chair and player for Salford Storm. Um, and currently, all the rules are actually being made up on the fly, which is great. So there's just a bit of miscommunication between both teams, and that is all. So it's going to be an interesting second half, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, something is kicking off there. Uh, we appreciate that. You know, a little bit of insight there from uh, one of the Salford Storms, uh, one of the Salford Storms players. It seems to be kind of kicking off a little bit here, and there's a little bit of upset and uh, confusion about rules, uh, as you can tell. There's a little bit of confusion about rules on the sidelines. Um, you know, we are playing in Chester's backyard here, so you know if they're the ones. Supplying the referees, then uh, no, they've not supplied a referee. That's what they've not supplied the referee, according to Thomas, and that yeah. seems to be the well, issue. Yeah. You know, they're, they're currently it's winning, unfortunately, Chester. 100%. Um, but Lewis, we are actually on the Thomas. Can you hear me? Yes, good lad. Well, lad. Uh, we are on the end of some controversy, yes. Yeah, so, with I've heard about the this. referee debacle, this is quite interesting. <laughs> you know, it's a shame, you know. You've got to you've got to play with what you're working with, you know. And uh, unfortunately, Salford have, have clearly been dealt a bad hand here. I feel bad for the referee here. He's got seems like a very big job he's got to cover. You know, you've you've got all these lads who are so passionate about it, and he's. It, honestly, I think it is really poor to see. Um, you know, we, we've given the, the the Chester SU their their you know their credits, their plaudits, but. Like this is this is not ideal, you know. Like every, including us, we've all made the effort to come broadcast this today and put it together. Absolutely. But I, I think our our camp is absolutely furious about what's going on. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, they're they're Chester are currently twenty twelve up, and um, you know, dominating the game. If if we're honest, but it, it, it'd be interesting to see if the if the rules were oh, played oh, properly. Oh, oh. Oh, fumble, Ruski. Unlucky there from the sulphur play. That could have been a, a sexy six, as I like to call it. Apologies for any uh, foul language you might hear from the sidelines. Oh, Ben, that is... Oh, he's got him looking. I just... 
I've got a feel for him because he's playing this full contact with, like, yeah. you know, with Team GB, and he's. I'm yeah. assuming they're doing it in training as well. And then he's come to here. It's gonna be hard, isn't it? Yeah, he's he's gone from like someone has to physically grab and st stop you to all this is just pull a bit of fabric out of your side. Yeah, and I think it must be annoying. Oh, I could only imagine. It must be annoying. And it, it, imagine if like five side was like that for I us. I know it's a little bit annoying to watch, to be honest, because you just think like you can't. My opinion here, you can't properly play the sport in my, you know, humble opinion. How you want to play it, but yeah, and that's the rules that they've dealt with, and they've got to they've got to deal with it. It's the same for both teams here. And um, I do believe it's um it's due to refer like the referee numbers, and I think it's like um I want to say like a risk assessment, like risk and health and safety and, and so forth and so yeah, forth. Yeah, we've we've heard a little bit about that. We've heard the yeah, same, the, with, same with the rowing. I yeah, think. the rowing had some controversy. They wanted to get that on the water. But they couldn't, unfortunately. They couldn't because Chester did not want to do the risk assessment or couldn't do the risk assessment. Mm, got, we know we're not yeah. too familiar with everything that's going on, yeah. but obviously we are in the Salford camp, so everything will be here and will be uh, with a tinge of bias. And I hope you understand that watching yeah. at home. You know, at the end of the day, we are just a group of first years trying our best, and and it's not just about us; it's about everyone. We are all just a bunch of university students, first, second, and third year, just trying to get on. Absolutely. He's a big lad there. He's a big I'm assuming, the number 16, I'm assuming he's like the head of all most of Chester's stuff. He's been getting involved in a lot of the talking. Yeah, he's probably been the best player, I would say, so far for the Chester team. He's a big boy. I would not want to play against him. Uh, Good hands by Rap. Wonderful, he goes. wonderful catch. Ah, oh, that's unlucky there. That's a good catch, though. That's a good job. Wonderful, like, wonderful catch. And it, with Hal Salford, you know, how they feel the game's gone. It's still it's still just as important. As you, like, if this game was to get null and void, it's not going to matter on the day. No, absolutely not. Like, you, can get, you can get done over as much as you want. I'll tell you what, Lewis, I'm yet to commentate on a win today. Yeah, no, there's, there's been a few losses today, but, you know, we absolutely smashed it last week, and um, so it's always going to be hard for the... That's, that's uh, that? six I think that, points I think we got for Salford there. Oh, good stuff. We've seen the boys so rain. You, you're yet to commentate on a, on a win yet, Bix, but you just never know. I'm optimistic. Listen, I know these lads, they train... They train. I think they do two trainings a week, you know. Boy, do they train. That is, I think that's absolute incredible work ethic to Absolutely. see how often they get to play. Absolutely, I could not agree any more, Bix. I'm looking at that. Um, I'm looking at that that score sheet, and it's hard to tell who is winning because they're not very good at keeping the score mm. clear. Uh, but it's currently 2017 to the home team. I think that's a really good job from the number nine there to intercept yeah, it. Well, the celebration is that something that, again, it's different, isn't it? Yes, yeah, the defenders celebrating, making challenges. Yeah, I've, I love it. No, it's different. It's different. I, I, I like to see it. It's a bit interesting. Um, oh, the score is twenty twenty, so it's currently a so, draw. Oh, Salford looking to lock down Chester. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. The score. Do you know what quarter? Are we, is this the third quarter now? Oh, 2019. 2019. 2019, what a great year for everyone. It was a year before COVID-19 struck. Uh, that was... Uh, no, technically it's four years ago today since... I know, four no, years ago mad. today to lockdown and now we're here. COVID no longer... Well, I guess it exists. Well, did you, did you think four years ago you'll be sat in Chester... Commentating on American football. You know football. what I did, Bix? I believe. <laughs> I was sat there the day they announced lockdown and I thought, four years' time, I'll be sat here with Bix Williams of Pudsey talking about a sport I don't really know much about, uh, but just loving life. Oh, and he's ran that all the way home. Disappointing. He's a, he's, he's a decent one, that number 10. Some great speed. Opener. And, oh. Start an opener, yeah? 25-19, I want to say. 25-19, yeah. I think Salford may have underestimated Chester. I know. I think. I think a huge, a huge part of it is the fact that they're they're not been getting some good officiating in the start. But and it has favoured Chester. But they they've just persevered and they've kept going. Amen, brother. 
Talk to us about the other sports that we're covering here today, Bix. Um, so, yeah, we had both the men's and women's football. Uh, again, you know. Oh, I'll have to interrupt you there. What went on there, Bix? What, in the play? In the play. Ah, so the man. Uh, <laughs> not too sure, to be honest. But I think the offence and defence switching out. Says a 10 point game. I, I, That's I, some my, points for Chester, I think. I just want to know who's changing it. That's something I'm a bit interested about. Yeah, because whatever they're doing, they're doing a terrible job. <laughs> and hopefully, you're not being paid for that because. I wish I was getting paid. Although, if we were getting paid for this, I think that would be a shambles. Yeah, so. no, that wouldn't be fair. No. Just, it, honestly, it, it doesn't feel as right not having our usual lit mics. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's a shame we don't have those today, but you know. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. Oh, oh that's great what they've been catch. waiting for. What that catch. is a great catch. Excellent. That's huge. The boys are celebrating. They're loving life. That was an what absolute dog. It floated high. It swivels. He's got the he dog has, in him. He really does. Really? He really does. Two men around him and he pulls it off. That, I think, is what Salford have been needing. Amen, brother. Okay. Um, I'd love to tell you what's happening here. A huddle. A huddle is happening. <laughs> a huddle clearly is happening. And they're going to kick it, I think. Okay. Can he make that final throw? Ooh. Oh, oh, unlucky. It was a decent throw, just unlucky from the Salford boys there. Perfect. That was, that was so good. That was mad. That's why I asked Ollie. Then I was like, Someone's going to get chinned. That's not camera. Someone's getting chinned. It's a hasty game here. And uh, me and Bix are enthralled, aren't we, Bix? Really are. What? Love that, Thomas. It's still a very close game, according to the scoreboards, and we can't trust that yeah, completely. It's, so, it's, so it's 28-25, apparently. No, I would, I'd love to keep score on my phone, but I'm just not... I, I was, I, I, when I was researching this, because, you know, we'd, contrary to our knowledge, we do, we research, do research these research, games, yeah. but I, I've researched the... What well, seems like the wrong sport. I think that's got to do with a lack of officiating, really. Yeah, I think... That's a shame. An interesting one will be to see how many... I don't actually think there's that many third years in this society. I think it's, it's mainly first and seconds. Um, so if they get if they can get a good wave of first years, we're really up for it. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and that's that's what we want, isn't it? We just want to make more progress in all areas of Salford sport. Oh, that's huge. Great work there. Gates down. and it, I, I thought he was gone. There he comes, just getting down deep. Sticking to it. And forcing the forcing the turnover? No, it's still it's a, it's a down, isn't it? It's still Chester possession. Absolutely. It's all I, something I find fascinating is the hand signals. Yeah. Like they all mean a different thing and everyone knows. Well, and everyone knows what they mean. Five early. Down number two. Yeah, I have to say, I think it, it has been poor defence from Salford today. You know, I hate to criticise the boys. Our, our offence has been excellent, I think. You know, defence maybe uh, next year needs a bit of room for improvement, but, you know, it's, you know, it's still a young sport. You know, a lot of the boys playing maybe haven't played this sport before university, and uh, that's very important to note. That's the end of the quarter. Oh, my God. What the hell? <laughs> Are we about to enter the fourth quarter, Bix? I, I have not. This is the first quarter stop I've seen. What time is it? Ben Allen's left, mate. I thought so. 
I'm not going back to it. Lewis, a bit confused with the scores. We have three more quarters, and do you know what? Thank goodness. I think I think that's good, because uh, of course there was a bit of confusion in the first quarter. Um, but this will be a lot better for our boys. They'll be able to have time to do things right, and that's how they're going to do things right. Off to a great start there. I mean, it's a long game, given that I thought we were about to enter the fourth quarter, when in fact we're entering the second. Yeah, I was going to, to be fair, I, I had not seen them call any breaks. Feels like we've been going for quite a while. It does though. feel like we've been going for a while, but that's because we've been having so much fun. Of course, and um, in fairness, the Super Bowl did go on forever. It did. Were you, were you, you were there at the SC, I watched the you? Super Bowl. I didn't really know what was going on too much, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. He's made the catch. Calls for the seven seconds. And is the referee going to play for it? Is he not? I'm very confused right now. And again, it does feel very out of the blue. But I'm sure, you know, like 90% of the people who are watching this will know what's going on. I'm apparently, Bix, that college and professional games of American football last 60 minutes divided into four quarters. The plays have a frequent stops, so a game might last 2.5 to 3 hours or more. High school games generally consist of four 12-minute quarters. Games for young kids can be even shorter. It's all for faster football. Uh, the, oh, we, it's, I think each quarter is going to be about 40 minutes. And guys, um, you kinda, you have to Only it. Spencer may have helped me out here. Uh, Papa needs a wee, yes, so mate. I, uh, I might have I might have to pass my uh, pass my mic duties over to Ollie Spencer while I go for a wee wee. Go with Seve, he's just been. Hello, hello. It is me, Oliver Spencer, Tom. reporting for duty Tom. here at the um, NFL. Is, that, is, it, is it the NFL? It's the American football. American yeah. football. That's like saying, oh, you're going to go watch the FIFA. Well, the, is it? Whatever. It is, this is hello, the FIFA. Hello, hello. My so, name is... see you here as well. Tom, do you know anything about American football? Uh, I watched the Super Bowl. Well, uh, I didn't even do that. Did you say we're going to watch the NFL? Yeah, I knew it was wrong, <laughs> but I was going to say it anyway, because it's funny. I'm going to eat, uh, drink a Sprite. Not a Sprite, a oh. Pepsi Lime. I respect that. I think a lot of people in this world are too boring when they go, oh, Pepsi Lime. Exactly. <laughs> I reckon it's really nice. And one of my favourite drinks was Pepsi Mango, but I haven't seen that Ooh, in a long Pepsi time. Pepsi Mango is hard to be fair. Unreal, yeah. but I've not seen it in a long while. As does just normal Pepsi Max. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know the extent of Bix and Lewis's commentary, oh, but... Oh, cold. I know, and another pal. Uh, if you're just wondering you what I'm talking about, I got a few discounted sandwiches at Tesco. Oh, are they on Bitsy. discount? They were. You can have one of this if you want. I'll have that. You can have yeah. that, too, if you want. I'll open it if you want. I'm Thank you. Can I? I'll save it for later, but yeah, go oh, yeah, we'll on. No, 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 it's fine. Hey, don't worry, we got this all on camera. Oh, yeah. Yes, we do. You tell them. Get in there. Yeah. On it. We're on it. Yeah. Big, big up. up journalism. Big shout out from the coach. I'm assuming. Wednesday, aren't we? He's not here now. You're going to have to wait until he's back for that one. <laughs> and here we go. Who are you, Tom? Are you Wednesday or United? Are you a blade or an uh, owl? I wore a... Oh, yeah. Well, a blade shirt, didn't I? He did, yeah. so did I. But, I, I, you know what? You're listening. I like um, both equally. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I, you know, uh, you're meant I, to I pick don't one. It. You're meant to pick one, but I like them both equally. You know who I pick? Football, because football's the winner football's in both winner. scenarios. What do we think of MK Dons? Here they go. Then we were just talking about that on the way. Hup, Sorry, hup. yeah. Hup, right. hup. The quarterbacks put a nice ball They've in there. the ball. Put and through. Been, so a, it's kind of like it tackle. works like tag rugby, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I um, think this section here, basically, uh, I see Molly's explained, but we both know nothing about American football. Yes. So I think should we just work out how they play it? For we this can try. Next kind of. Uh, but yeah, minutes, I think whatever. the people want to hear about our like Tesco journey and stuff. Mm. No, I'm only joking. But um, yeah, Thomas has seen our Doritos. I think he wants them. Yeah. Well, they're Tom's, but I'm assuming Thomas can have of some. Of course he can. Pick them up when you want, fella. Um, okay. Salford will be looking to push further forward now from this play. I don't know. There's no, is there any like, is there like a fumble rule or like a like knock on in rugby? I don't know. 
But, I'm not sure. Um, I no, so I, I know feels. my old football coach. Shout out Chris Jones, what a hero! Big up Chris Jones. Um, he was a lovely bloke. I'm Chris Small. He was an absolute legendary and I'm bloke. Phil Jones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's the the devilish year combined. But um, he was Canadian, and I think I don't know why, but one a couple times he just turned up with. Um, American footballs and American football gear to our oh, football, what, to training, football training. Yeah, um, and he just said maybe it was like they didn't have any balls. They were all being used because obviously our club had loads of age ranges, and they might have been all using. Was like, oh, we're oh, just yeah. going to do this day because at least it's still exercise. Yeah, yeah. And he just we did a couple American football training sessions, and it was well fun. We had a great was time because it, yeah. it kind of looks because I quite like rugby. I quite like how you can. Yeah, kinda... I've done it so. My whole thing in American football is, I'm not going to lie, I know I'm on commentary right now, but I think it's really boring to watch. I hate, <laughs> not boring, it's not, right, so I'll, ref- I'll rephrase, okay. Not boring, I just, as a, for me as a sport, I hate like the stopping and starting. Like yeah. I like it to flow, like, uh, but that's just me personally. I respect it very much as a sport, um, but but when you play it, you know, it's not as bad. It's the same as like, anything like golf. Like I find golf really yeah, boring to watch, to watch because it's just like, Stopping and starting, this, that, and the other, but I feel like I've never played it, but I feel like playing it be a good crack. Here's a, here's a question for you. Other than football, what is your favourite sport to watch? Uh, I'd probably say rugby. I do rugby. like rugby. I have yeah, watched that favorite, and I've played it a little bit. Yeah. Not like an expert or anything, but I do like it. Yeah. Um, I've been enjoying the darts, actually. Mm, I've only got into darts. the darts since I was... It's like the, I feel like we've had, gone into like the Luke Little era yeah. of darts, haven't we? And it's all... It's gone big, and I've only started watching a little bit because then I'm not huge on it, but that's quite entertaining. Yeah. Um... But yeah, but anyway, I'll go back because I was making a really long derived point uh, when I was talking about. <laughs> oh, big... a big play here for Chester! Oh, I think he's just got a tackle in just while we're done. On the edge of the area. Yeah, it looked like he nearly got a <laughs> touchdown. You look different, Bix. Hey, yeah. <laughs> almost nearly. a touchdown there. Touchdown. But um, no, my whole touchdown. point. Touchdown. <laughs> Super Sev. My whole point there was. He told us, like, the reason we weren't allowed to do any tackling because with American football, you have to learn how to do it properly. Otherwise, you can really... Yeah, like, get I think that's yeah. why they're not doing it here today. Exactly. That was my whole point of this long tangent has all yeah. come round to that's probably the reason why they've got the tags on them. Because it's a different tackle to rugby, isn't it? Where it is. It's completely different. And also on yeah. Aston. Here comes Change over. And Oh, oh he's pushing through. Oh. oh, the tag's not come off there. Oh, he has now. He's been caught. But does that get them to the point? I'm assuming it does. <laughs> but what, we'll what check there? the scoreboard. They got steeled, so. Oh, okay. Possession now, I think. Oh, so possession oh, okay. changes. Possession has changed. I'm assuming that's people. like unlikely to change for a while, like they've got a good chance Go now. Oh, is that what they're celebrating? Go on, the storm! That's our fucking pipe! We must apologise for the horrendous language just heard there. Uh, Do you mean? Yeah. Don't drop F bombs wow. on our SSTV. Wow. Uh, oh, we've got Lewis Speed back here. Bring his way back. No Bix, though. Oh, he is. Bix is just around the corner on the way back. And I think they're probably going to take over. Me and Tom have just been on one long tangent. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> as you can imagine. Yeah. But so no point scored there, but it is a changeover, as we've been told by Seve. They've got a steal. Hopefully soon they'll get a touchdown. Sorry. I, if this is like disgracing the sport of. Well, he's just there, isn't he? He went for, I think we went to Lou as well. Toilet. Yeah. Uh, I think it's about time for a song. Born in the USA. I was born in the USA. Now. To be fair, one thing I do really like about, uh, well, especially in the NFL, I know I'm using it in the right context now, uh, is like the showmanship. Like them just like yeah. hyping up for tackles. It's, I personally, I think me watching a sport, I wouldn't be that ass. Like if I'm a, well, actually, no, I'll take that back. If I'm watching uh, football and like my go Alex Woodyard, he did this against South End where he cleared it off the line in the last minute to keep us in it for a win. Yeah. He went like he went and buffed himself over, yeah. The keeper times get on with one, which is fair enough. But like um Yeah, I like that showmanship. And it's I think it's great for an American audience as well. America's laughing. Yeah, America's yeah, exactly. laughing. Yeah. Which it's made for an American audience. Exactly. Really, there's nothing it? wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with adapting something for an American exactly. Not that it was adapted, it's obviously an American yeah. sport, but like for example, UK American Office. I've only watched little bits of both. <laughs> right. My personal opinion is I prefer the UK one, but that's because I like that, uh, that dull kind of, humour, yeah, that dull dry, depressing yeah, dry I know humour, you mean. like the peep show type humour. Yeah, the, exactly. Um, but what what they did with the American Office 
was they adapted it to an American audience, and obviously it is far more popular, which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, that's that's the right thing to do, and we all saw it with the Inbetweeners. If you've ever seen any of the American Inbetweeners, it might be the worst thing. That, that might yeah. actually be worse than like, you know what, we're being professional today. I was going to say something naughty, but what? That's what I was talking about, sorry, the Inbetweeners, yeah. Yeah. I th- right, I'm going to say it. Can you tell if, if, that me and Ollie don't listen, know listen. anything about American football and we've been left in the stall? If, <laughs> if Thomas needs to edit this out, so be it. But I say it. The American between us is the worst American tragedy than 9 11. Honestly, <laughs> it's, it's terrible for him. time. <laughs> okay, you might want to edit that one out, Thomas. Sorry, mate. Oh, God. <laughs> How was that worse than what he said? <laughs> no, we, we went to stop saying stuff. Oh, like sorry. That. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, okay, right. Do we, does anyone have the time? Can we, like, make sure Thomas knows what time it is? It doesn't matter. Just, just rush up the mic to your chest and it'll make a big spike. So, what if I scream into it? No, it's like, you just we need to do this. Because that okay. will make a really big mic spike. So Thank I you, Thomas. Really that makes sense. Legends. And I'll just view everything. To <laughs> Am I allowed a sandwich? Yeah, mate, go for Which it. One? Go for it. Which so, one is best for me to have? It's uh, like a podcast. What, just have some, mate. No, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> 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 yeah, rightfully so. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's hilarious, though. I'm worried that he might. You've settled down now, though, to be fair. So, yeah, you were, you were a bit pissed at the football, but you've settled down now, yeah. I'm alright. Yeah, you do. I can tell it now, yeah. So, a little meal deal review here. I'm having. Sausage, bacon, and egg. What, Johnson? Triple. Oh, oh Johnson crisps. That's some crisps. Oh, grab a few crisps. Oh. It's very good. I'm going to get a yeah, fine, fine fix. Sure. So this, oh, this is really nice. Salford celebrate. Corner. It's what? a corner. Is that how it works? No. Yeah, we are actually very sorry for the tragedy that yeah, is this well, commentary. It's because, essentially, I don't know whether this has been explained, but uh, Bix and Lewis have gone to the toilet. Um, yeah. and obviously having a massive poo-poo because they're taking a while. <laughs> That's fine. That doesn't need to get cut out. There's nothing wrong with me saying that. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely didn't say anything that's been cut out earlier in the, in the commentary that you obviously won't have heard. These sandwiches, I think they'd be better with white bread. I don't know. Yeah, they probably... So, for context, guys, you are right. This is like a podcast, isn't it? We've got a Tesco sausage, bacon, and egg triple. Oh, there Um, comes (laughs) Robert! And, yeah, I know what you're saying, but I don't mind the multigrain. The one criticism I may have of these, but they're too dry. Mm, They're far too dry. A a lot of, like, meal deal sandwiches are generally far too dry, but I think these ones in particular, they're actually, they're really good scran, but I don't choose them because they're too dry. And me personally, I'm not a huge fan of ketchup. So, Mm. for me, I know I wouldn't vouch this for the whole country because I know it's not as popular, but for me, I would slather this baby with mayo in the middle and that would be really? perfect for me. I love mayo I'll so much. I'll just put more ketchup on. Yeah, but I, that, I take that as a completely valid argument. But me personally, I'm not a huge fan of ketchup. I actually think, I was saying this to uh, my flatmate, Mate, the other day. I actually think, in my opinion, ketchup might be the one of the most overrated things on the planet. Check on the it. whole planet, yeah. Because think about how many people like adore it. I just don't think it's great. Really? I don't mind I it. it. Like, I had some chips earlier at the rugby and there was nothing else but ketchup. I'd rather have ketchup than nothing. Mm. But people live for that. People like have it on everything. Yeah. And I'm like, people love it. I think it's not great. I really don't think it's great. Sebi, what sauce have you been having lately? A bit of cheeky reggae reggae sauce. Ooh, oh, what the reggae reggae barbecue sauce? Levi oh, roots. Right. Levi roots. Lovely stuff. Yeah, I love Levi roots. Okay, right. we're gonna restart here. We're gonna try. Let's mm. let's try and do some actual commentary for a bit. Someone, so, take it back. That's a little stutter. That's what... Check, check. SOS. Heads on, boys. Big game moments. Big game play. You know what the... 
you know, flag like, I think like I reckon it's wind. I think it's because it? he chucks it up every time oh. play goes. I think it's where the wind is. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, so we was asking about the, the yellow thing. The yellow thing. What's that for? So that's just a flag to show there's been. Oh, it's like it's like an. Oh. Okay. Flag. So it's like it's literally like a foul. Oh. Okay. Cool. That's what it is. Oh. I don't know if you guys picked up on the mic. It's awful, isn't it? A great point there from uh, if that was heard on SSTV. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to explain who we got here? Uh, we have Oli. Oh, another Oli. Yeah. Play cornerback for the Storm. So go on, Oli. So you, what did you explain to us then? Oh, Thomas, don't put the camera on us. We're here scrambling. Like <laughs> Jesus. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But if there's play, you get that. But um. So you explained to us why that was called back there. Jeez. Yeah, so basically uh, what's happened there is a flag's been thrown, which is just like in, nor in normal football, a foul. And what's happened is the receiver has moved before the ball's been snapped, so it's full start and a flag, and we get a five-yard penalty for it. Lovely stuff, mate. Good to hear. Thank you very much. And that is what we need. Half-time. It's half-time. Is it half time? It's the end of the second quarter. Half time? Oh, there's only three quarters. What? There's only three quarters? Yeah, it's been a, it has been a merry go round with the commentators today, but I am back. Went for a little walk. Just wanted to see how everyone was getting on. Varsity is looking good. Let's just say that. Went down to the women's hockey. Big congrats to them. Oh, wow, it's a good run. Big flag. I didn't even see that. Came out of nowhere. Done a really good job to get the down. Great effort, but. um. Yeah, that's been great for the women's hockey. Great for the men's hockey. And apparently the netball are cruising way down there. Hey, hey. That's a good thing to yeah. hear. Well, to be fair, because this is pre-recorded and it's not going to go out until the weekend. Fair, this will probably go with, uh, this will be one of the first things to go out because we won't be editing the scores. Right. Um, but yeah, we've won Varsity, we've won Varsity. Ollie. I we've won, won Varsity. A little birdie told me, Bix, we've won Varsity. And you know what? I think they deserve it. <laughs> oh, they've been so good. And I said it earlier, I think, on the rugby commentary, that it's just this season we've seen so many good Salford sports teams. We've we, seen the football seconds have been so good, the football first have been so good, yeah. the rugby have been so solid since we started covering them, the hockey, as I've just seen today as well, has been so solid, and the netball, they say, cruising their way through. What score was the rugby today? The rugby was a new, really not the Not the rugby, sorry, the, uh, the hockey. The hockey were 2-0 to Salford. Oh, that's good. Uh, it was uh, like Connor... Didn't get his surname, Connor, score in the two. An excellent performance. Got a good interview with him and a couple of us afterwards. That's great, man. That's great. I don't, I no, don't, in, I, no interview I, at the rugby then. Oh, I don't like, yeah, no, we, didn't want, we didn't want to interview the men's fish because they like they looked distraught. Well, yeah, they were. We had, we had to get off, and they were really devastating. Yeah, but it was it was a really tough one because they had such a good first half, and they yeah. did just capitulate really. And Chester were the better team. Yeah, you know, I'll give it because like, so, honestly, some of these Chester teams have been so it's really good. Credit to them as well. Like yeah, especially today because what we were six one up back at home last week, and they've come here and they've made it close. You know, some some would say that. that and there's more sports being played today, but I still. think it's the silent... Honestly, because like, what I've, I've not seen... Personally, I've not seen Salford get a win today. It's been the silent killers. It's been the yeah. it's been the badminton and the rowing. Yeah, like, exactly. They've been, they've been the dogs that have got us, that have pushed us oh, over the edge 100%. today. And the hockey. Yeah. And the hockey, of course. Yeah. I think the hockey's, the hockey's broadcasted a bit more. It's, it's more... Yeah. Like, yeah, you're right, though. Yeah, I'm like, okay, it's good. Oh, you missed my little uh, 
<laughs> oh, that's not good. No, absolutely not. That really isn't it. Did you, did you apologise after? I did. And I, oh, I apology Thomas. accepted. Get Ollie Spencer was the power this. bank. Gave Thomas a mic spike. So, like, mic spike. Much of the so he knows when it is in the recording. Yeah. Um, question for you, Ollie. Uh, yeah, so, with House of with House Alford Spot looking to expand for next yeah. year, yeah. Um, something that I've I've been interested in is having like heads of heads of certain sports. Yeah. Like, it's their responsibility to get the camera people. Anything, okay. anything extra. Is there any sport you'd be interested in headlining? Well, you know, I'd obviously say football, uh, mm-hmm. but I know that's hot topic. Well, there's plenty of football teams going, isn't uh, there? There is. Um, what you have to make. I think the other thing that's my phone. I can't find oh. it. <laughs> that's no. mine. Um, yeah, definitely football. Be fine. Uh, but I will accept that you know there's plenty of big football noggins here in this team. Well, that's to an extent because we've only got like the men's seconds which yeah. taken, so you could take the thirds of the, yeah, uh, yeah. first. But um, I'd put myself out there with a little bit more research. Rugby, I think. Yeah. I'll credit myself. I think I'm one of the better at here at Silver Sports definitely. Rugby. I definitely don't think I'm. I great, but I think you know I've got the base knowledge and I enjoy it too. So I'd be happy to put myself all for rugby bricks. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be great. I'd love to have you on that. You know, anyone. I if there is anyone watching who's coming to Salford, hey, or is that Salford? Well, you did have someone mention it at the rugby today. Someone who really? should be expecting a message. Yes, uh, so, a certain Isaac. Um, oh, I love that. Who said they'd be up for it. Yeah, but anyone who's up for anything, if like, you're watching this, you like American football, you're like... Get yourself down. You I, like said it, I said the same thing at the hockey too, because, you know, we can only do so much. We love doing our best to cover as much sport as possible. Really and tried to We really want to give you the best uh, experience as possible. And, you know, we can accept that we just can't do that on every sport. Uh, we'll try our best. And in the meantime, yeah, we'll do what we can. But, yeah, get in touch. Just That's be- a really good catch there. Great work. Um... Run that man to find him out, but yeah, sorry, keep going. Well, I was just saying, I was just saying, if you if you want to come get involved, you know, yeah. we're more than happy to have you. If you fit the right bill, um, we'll get you on. Uh, just drop a DM to the Solver Sport Instagram page, and we should be able to get back to you. Yeah, there we go. Point scored. Salford within one now. Oh. And it's getting close. And do you know, I am, I'm like, from what I've seen, I'm just so confident in these boys that they'll pull it off. But as much as the gaps, you know. Yeah, well, I was listening to their team talk at half time and it was so emphatic. It, it was intense, it was yeah. Really I, heard it. I heard it. I, I went for a quick stop at the student union. Mm. It was intense. Yeah, I mean, I, I, the camera wasn't rolling, but I went. I got up to turn it around, and I saw it wasn't filming, but it would have been really good to get that camera. But it was very, yeah, very emphatic, really going for it. It's important, you know. And something that I forgot about is the weather today. You know, we started. Oh, it was quite warm when you know, it got to that middle day point, but now, oh yeah, getting a bit chilly. I've got to say, across the whole day, though, we can't really complain. It's not been too bad. It's a oh, little no, bit chilly. No rain, which but, uh, is huge. Yeah, it was a little bit. Rainy in the morning. If oh I yeah, I was I was not um, I was worried. It could have been a really bad day, but we've uh, yeah. With thank you to the weather gods. I really so blessed us today. I am not gonna lie. These forty minute quarters, <laughs> these forty minute quarters would be gruesome in the pouring rain. Yeah, it would not have been fun. So how far through this game are we now, Bix? You'll have to I'll have to apologise for my. Uh, of, we uh, are in the third quarter. Okay. Um, so we've been going. They've been going for some time. These lads, yeah, no, it's a lot of running. It's a lot of running. It's a lot of running. It's a lot of concentration. Only imagine what it'd be like if it was full, full size. Oh yeah. But to be fair, there would be double or even triple the amount of players. Of course, yeah. Yeah, and I was explaining earlier about um, why I assume uh, it's tagged today because I had a football coach, and you've all, all on commentary has already heard this before, but I'll cut to the chase, but he was Canadian, he once just brought a load of American football gear to our training session, <laughs> for, for whatever reason, he did, it yeah. couple, he did it a couple of times, it was great fun though. And oh, he, that is ridiculous. That is really good, yeah, it cut myself off there, fantastic. Oh my gosh. So nifty, quick feet. And wow. That puts the scoreboard well in the favour of Chester, unfortunately. Like, um, that is, uh, <laughs> like, to be fair, that's one, is, is, that, is it number 10 who did that? 
Uh, oh yeah, my, it looks he, like he's a... been such a fawn. Yeah. First off, and I'd love to, I would love to know if he's first year because yeah, I wonder because he'll definitely be a good uh, acumen for them as we, from years. Yeah, ago. Well, we, well, the plot of course, the plan is always we look to do this throughout university. Of course, yeah. So if he's there next year, yeah, we'll be seeing him, and I'm sure we will be noticing him. Uh, and yeah, oh, again, right, okay, another I'm, couple of points on the board. I feel there, I, I, there. I do thoroughly apologise for just noticing this in the third quarter. But just so they've got the touchdown, but um, so after you get the touchdown, you have a chance to, uh, well, you, have, you can either kick it or yes. go for like a it's play. A bit like a conversion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they actually do play that as well in tag. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's very interesting. So I'm very sorry to anyone watching, <laughs> but very interesting. I do. I I love I, something that I've found so underrated about Salford Sport for me personally is. Finding out about the new things like net, I I love netball now. Net, I play. I'm gonna. I was ahead of the curve with that. I'm just gonna put out there. <laughs> I was an absolute thirty baller in netball back in primary school. Oh, well, yes, and you're me so and my mate. Yeah, uh, we used to play back in like year four. We were in the year six team. Wow. Um, and How tall were you in year four? I was not that tall. Okay. But, well, my little hiker. Because anyone who doesn't know me is listening. I am a mighty six foot six. <laughs> I don't like to mention it too much, uh, but p- other people oh, do. Go, go, other go, people go. do for oh. me. Oh, it's a shame. Yeah, so other people do for me. Charlie Sutton called me a six foot six giant, six foot seven giant. Actually, he got it wrong uh, on one of the first commentaries. But whatever. Um, but yeah, so I want not too tall. But then I, I was relatively big in primary school, and then I uh, didn't grow, and everyone around me did, and then I shot up during lockdown. Oh, that's good, man. But actually, Bix, I'm going to take it all the way back. Oh yeah. Um, because I never finished my point about uh, the tackling. Um, so as I said, my football coach came and brought uh, American football gear for us to come and play, and it was a great laugh, but he told us that we're not allowed to do any tackling, guys, because it is too dangerous unless you learn how to do it properly. And I was talking about this to Tom earlier, and it is, um, it's very different to rugby. It's a very different type, and if you don't have the gear, and if you don't know what you're doing, you can really seriously risk injuries. Yeah, like that. especially as a student athlete, the last thing of you course, want to course, do is take you know, up yeah, an injury. There's no... Um, yeah, injuries is not what you want to hear. You have to listen, you can get a concussion. You will be in for that nine a.m. the next day. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There was a, there was a. It was pretty rough at the rugby earlier. Had a couple of spinal injuries. One oh really? really badly. Yeah. yeah. Well, when we first covered that rugby union game, there was two, I think there was two dislocated shoulders or broken wrists within the first like ten minutes. Oh, it's, honestly, it's, it's really tough. Like as much as I'm sad that I've not, I've, I've kind of stopped playing sport professional professionally. Professionally. <laughs> yeah, are you talking to a real. Uh, this guy uh, was in the Wednesday Academy. Uh, it real. Like. My boss was actually in the Wednesday Academy. I'm a real, no, I'm oh. a real Randy Moss. <laughs> I think my boss was... He probably was at Wednesday at some point, but I think he was at Rotherham for a while. It was really? a Wednesday sport. Yeah, my boss is big up Cam. Shout out. He used to be a bit, a bit of a techie baller back in the day, but I think he, he gave it up because you know he might have been able to become professional, semi-professional, mm. but yeah, it's a, there's a lot of work and... Mm. He's running a very successful bar in Nairsborough. Big up the track and sleeper. Oh, mate, shout out to Nairsborough. I would love Nairsborough. to go. Have you go been there? there? No, you no. You, listen, there. You've, I think you've told me before about oh, how lovely it is. It I is mean, lovely. Show you, Luke, have you been to Nairsborough? I probably have. It's near Leeds, isn't it? Yeah, I think I've been to Nairsborough yeah. before. With the viaduct and the castle yeah, and the yes, nice market. Yes, uh, I have been to Nairsborough. That is my hometown, well, boy. Uh, Favourite place in Yorkshire that's not hometown? Okay. Uh, York is beautiful. York is really, really yeah. nice. I think York is beautiful, so probably York. Yeah. I would say York, and I'm, I'm from Nairsborough, which is a smaller town, oh, but like, I'm, no, not, no I'm not going to count York because that is, I do credit that. And when I tell people, I tell them I'm from York because mm. it's easy for them to know. And because I don't associate with Harrogate. Screw Harrogate. Um, it is beautiful as well. It is beautiful, but. There's a lot of things I could say about the people at Harrogate that are getting me in trouble here on Salford Spot TV, so I'm not going, <laughs> not going to. Um, yeah, but not just that. It's Lewis there a lot. But um, whatever. Oh, are, we, are we getting beaten by a fair amount now? Yes. Um, it's it's is, conf- is confirmed, Lewis. Varsity, yeah, well, varsity, varsity champions. Varsity champions. Varsity champions. I was champions. down there looking for you, but I found out we were varsity champions. Like, oh, get in there. That's great. I track myself uh, to a point. I don't think I should be allowed on commentary. I'm going to ban myself, to be honest, because I, I think I'm six points deep now. Well, honestly, I'm not going to lie. It's got to that point with how long the game is. I really don't think the people are watching for the commentary. So as long as like, as long as it's like nothing silly, silly. Yeah. But just enjoy it. Have, they, have, you, have you been to Malham? Uh, yes, Forbidden's Corner. That's oh, where I'm at. That is, well, I used to be a little bit of a wet wiper as a kid. I was too scared <laughs> of it. I'd love to go back. Um, and oh. I've not been to like, the Black Sheep Brewery either, which is apparently very, very nice. But yes, Masham is really lovely. Um, that's a very good shout. 
these joggers are so lovely, but because I wear them all the time, every time I wear these, like they're great, great night joggers for people watching at home. I just spill stuff on them all the time, like whether it's gravy, whether it's beer, whether it's whatever it is. I just have to put them in the wash literally every week. It's a nightmare. It's almost like we've got a podcast at this. I know. Point, that's what we, me and Tom were saying that because we were like talking about <laughs> Tesco meal deal stuff. Like, um, to be fair though, like let, let, let's be honest, right? You guys maybe know by this point we're not American football experts. I think you want a bit. Oh! <laughs> we don't need to be experts for we can see that that is absolutely incredible. If he can go all the way, that'll be insane. Oh, he's put oh, just shot. Oh, 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 oh my! Oh. What a play! I'm so sorry Unreal. for interrupting you. Unreal. Oh my gosh! Why is this? We josh around a little bit. I think that's part of the fun at Salford Sport TV. We don't try and pretend we know we're experts. We we say what we know and then we josh around a little bit. Now we we hope you guys and from. Oh, sorry, sorry, we were about to approach the end. We were approaching so the end of it. the third. I don't think that went all the way, but oh my goodness, that that just raced mm. back some energy in me that I. That I did not think was in. Really good effort. But just too shock. I'll oh, go on, Ali. But what I was gonna say is like from a lot of the feedback I've heard from a lot of people about soft spot TV is they they really like like the colloquial nature of it. You know, we're casual, we're students, we're having fun, we love doing this uh, as much as the players love playing their sports. And we're here to give you guys a more like casual, light hearted and well, we like to think fun. We like to think we bring a bit of energy and a bit of fun to this what we do. Um, so and that and that yeah and that's what that's kind of our ethos. That's what we go for. You know, we, like we all happily all admit we're not the most professional, uh, but I think we make up for it in charm. It's, it's well charm, but it's it's a different style no, I, that we're going for. I would also for. say like with how I'd much we are. Prof- I would say we are professional. We, oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. we try our best, and I I, know, I totally agree with what Ali's saying. But you know what? We try and be professional and joshing around at the same time. Yeah. No, because like um, you do see that again. Like he does. <laughs> Seem like it's crazy. There is so much setting up. If you see, if you see those Friday mornings when me and oh, Fingana yeah. have to grab like three <laughs> tripods and f- like three cameras. I was say, the amount of effort, the amount of effort that goes into this. And again, because he's with me right now, I'll shout out the amount of effort Bix puts into this. As much and as there's Thomas joking around, camera, I've got we, to say, we the do really. We uh, Josh, uh, Thomas especially. As much as it's colloquial, do also put a whole lot of effort into oh, this yeah. for you guys. And it's but anyway, it's fun. That's why we do it. But you know, it's not just a bit of. Um, Casual, like oh, well, let's just film this, whatever. It's, oh, yeah. The yeah. whole week I, builds up to it. Uh, yeah, and I hope it's, that's not what we come across as, as much as today's just been a bit of a talk. But um, like we try so much, and we, oh, have, yeah. we, we it's, it's a squad full of first years we've got, um, and it's, it's it's not e- it's not easy, and especially you know you have your bad days sometimes. When some things don't go right, like today, we've had a few lads who... But Harry... Oh, we mentioned <laughs> I, I, I did mention Harry Smith in hockey, yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, Harry. I've heard, I've heard he's actually still in the lecture right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Harry Smith was uh, due to be at the... Was he due to be at the rugby and he was, the hockey? He, he, he was, I think he was supposed to be here. Yeah, it was, I think he was meant to be the rugby at the hockey, because me and Finn had to do the rugby with just the two of us. Yeah. Um, which is fine, you know, we manage. Well, that's a and, spinner. Fair play if he gets that, I was going to say. Go on. And Charlie Sutton had a nightmare with car lifts and sort of yeah. out of his hands. But, um, Harry, man, <laughs> you meant to be here today. At least he was there. He went to a lecture. At least he wasn't mucking well, he, he around put, doing he something. He put the code in, and well, how how <laughs> it works is if you put the code in, like pretty much even if you're not there, of course it scans you through for attendance. Mm. But I saw that, like three hours after the lecture was over. <laughs> but you know who I will give a shout out to Favor uh, in right. journalism. She does PR. Okay. Uh, international student and oh, yeah? an international legend. Oh yeah. All over the globe. I don't know if I've met Favour. Yes, everywhere. Favor. You, How you know her met? She's in our lessons. Oh, I don't know. Well, I don't know if I know her. But I know Favour. She gets everything. Oh! Lovely catch. <laughs> He's gonna have a highlight reel. He could watch back all day. Ice cold. What? Look at that. And I. Just, I think it's so technical of how the quarterback just swivels it. Oh yeah. And I just. I Do you think the boys are trying to be American, right? I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Trying to hate, but I oh, feel like yeah. a lot of the plays, it, it feels like we're kind of behaving like Americans. Yeah, I think that's and kind that's of the point of the sport. Not, really, not necessarily a criticism, whether you, no, wh- no. whatever you think of Americans or not, but hmm. it feels like I'm trying. I'm watching an imitation of people like trying to be American. To an extent, yeah. When I do, when I've done basketball a few times this season, and I will, I will, obviously I won't put on the accent, but in the way that I speak, I will try and mirror what I see when I watch the NBA. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a good thing. I think it's a testament to the sport because it's obviously such a big thing in America. And this sport, 
in particular, you know, compared to basketball. Basketball's quite big over Europe and stuff as well. But um, yeah, uh, American football is only really huge in America. But it's a very American sport. Like it's very American leaning. It's you know, yeah, it ju- it's built it, for them. It's it built just, for yeah, the, the the glitz and the glamour. It's built the for the bravo hits. and the gusto. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so the, I, che- I, the, Chelsea, the Chelsea player, <laughs> gusto. <laughs> oh yeah. Shout out gusto. Got, always gets me assists on my FPL. <laughs> Does he? Should I get him in? You reckon? Mm, no, because I am like second bottom of the league. Well, there you go. <laughs> Well, I think I got. I haven't had to check with. No, it's, it's between, last, basically relegations between the fourth. It's between me, you, and Alex. Right. Okay. Yeah, because I was kind of plain sailing, I think, and then I just gave up and I stopped doing it. But I think you know, last week there was like barely any games on. I think I got like four or five points. Or something I think like that. everyone did. I used my yeah, free hit. I used my free hit. Oh, Captain Son. Yeah, I'd already done it. Captain what, Son, and he, and he blanked. Oh. My one chance to like. Yeah. Really get a statement, and I'm, I I think I went up in one of my leagues. Yeah, well, I think I uh, had um, about four players playing, yeah. one of which I'd brought in. I got rid of Haaland for Ivan Tony because I was like, it's a lot of money, and get someone else. I might bring him back, but um, what I mean for Ivan Tony is like, you know, I'm going to captain Ivan Tony, and he had a stinker, yellow card, so he got me one point, so two points. Uh, what a nightmare. But yeah. Um, Hot Thomas, um, would you mind getting something on the I story for this? Because it's my phone side. On the what? The Salford Spark story. With my phone side. Um, Lewis just asks if the scoreboard's correct. I don't know because I do not know how this game works very much. Um, but I don't know. I did see the home. What's that at the bottom? I did see the home score jump up four points from 44 to 48, and I don't recall why. But maybe I just missed something. I don't know. Am I right in saying that, Vic? This is uh, Salford Storm, are a relatively new team. They've sort of only formed recently. Oh. I'll, answer, I'll answer that for Bix. Yeah, I think it was this year. No, this no, year. no, oh, no, sorry, no, no. Completely. No, the storm's been going for quite a while. Well, like, I found photos of that from their like I'm careers wrong. fair from ages ago. I'm also ago. wrong. Daddy's wrong. I, <laughs> I seem to recall you mentioning something like that, Bix, but I probably misunderstood you. I think you probably said something like that you were going to speak to them. Um, mm. and you, might, you might have referred to them like as a new team, but you meant new in the context of but, some but, spot but, TV. Rel- relatively, just, it's more the sense that, like, the need of the players. Right, I, that's probably it. Like, yeah. And if they joined the Books League, they would be the newest that team. That is it. You said they were joining the Books League. That's why. Yeah, I remember now. Because you made an excellent little video um, that I assume you put up on Top Spot TV. So, if you'd, so go, go go watch that, guys. Vic made an excellent video talking to the Solid Storm and about their aspirations for this season. But, yeah, it's, as we're talking, it's a very American sport. It's not very big over here. So it's great to see people involved. Like... Uh, and it's a valiant effort today here at Varsity from the team. I just want to say, because as you probably know, if you've been watching for a while now, I went to Tesco uh, during this game before I was on commentary to get some food. And I got, because it was only because it was reduced, I got a plant chef, so it's like the vegan one, a hoisin, well, hoisin no duck wrap. I've got to say, it is terrible. I am usually a big advocate for like vegan vegetarian food and how like you know with a lot of it these days you can't tell the difference. I think a lot of people are too like um, I can't think of the word. They're very oh close-minded about it. They're way too close-minded. But this it sucks. I just got to say this is terrible. I hate I hate vegans. No, I don't hate vegans. <laughs> I'm just like I think meat is just so yummy and you oh. should eat it all the time. Don't get me wrong, I love meat. Like, I love it to high hell. <laughs> I spent <laughs> clip back, saying clip back. he loves meat. Oh, I do. I love, um, what can I, what else can I say? I love my poultry and my beef right, and guys, my, this but, um, but guys, I also love the vegan stuff too. Sorry, Bix, go on. Um, okay, chicken, lamb, yeah. beef, s- pork, rate, rate them. Rate them. Do you, you don't eat pork? I don't eat pork. No. Uh, alhamdulillah, I am not Muslim. <laughs> Rastafarian, shout out to all the Rastafarians oh, yeah. out there. there you go. Thomas? Thomas is not Rastafari, I'm just giving him his phone back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, is he not? <laughs> not gonna lie, pork is yummy. I like pork. Yeah, I think pork is definitely a strong one and it's very versatile. I'm gonna say chicken top because it chicken is top. so versatile. Uh, you can have so many good forms of it. 
For duck, me, duck is lovely. Duck is pretty nice. Are duck to this? I love duck. Duck is like. Is that what you said? What did you say? Lamb. I said lamb. You know, chuck duck in that. You know. Okay. Oh wow, that was that was a really duck, good. Duck is nice, but I just think it's a rarity. It's not like a. It's expensive. It's I don't remember the last time I had duck. Yeah. I had duck. Oh. That many days ago when I got a Chinese with my boys Tom Turner, Harry Chisnell, Char So, and Char Thor. Big shout out to Char Thor. Shout out to you, Charlotte. Um, you've been mentioned on the. Uh, American I'm gonna, football. I'm gonna give you a cheek, yeah. I'm gonna give you a cheeky little analogy for uh, why I don't think you can say duck is like the goated meat. Because sorry, Thomas is just interrupted by his gloves. Yeah, I think I did see him around here. Is it these? Yeah, Right, Lewis Speed's <laughs> pinched them. That's mine. You put it on. Yeah, of course, mate. Um, right, here's my cheeky little analogy that I thought of. Rating Duck as the goated meat is like rating Darwin Noon as the best footballer in the world. <laughs> That's the good one. Because on his day... Oh! Oh! Oh, good effort. Go because on, keep going. on his day, Darwin Nunes sometimes looks like the greatest footballer oh, in the world. Oh, ridiculous, isn't it? But it's a rarity. You don't see it often. Yeah. So that's why I can't go. That's why I go chicken is goated because it is consistent, it's consistent it's versatile. It's the James Milner of. Um, right, okay, that's, of, that is very please. disrespectful to chicken. No, consistency is key. You know who's consistent every game? Kevin De Bruyne. There you go. That's okay. De Bruyne is. Well, I personally, I personally rate James Milner more than Kevin De Bruyne, but um, <laughs> I'm only joking, obviously. But right. I do rate him a lot. I've got a little, got a little game for you guys. Go on. So, we haven't um, ranked them yet, Bix. Bloody hell. We haven't ranked them yet. Right Sorry, section. guys. Listen, I'm just right. Quick right. fire, then quick fire. I'm gonna go. Chicken, yes. pork, beef, chicken. pork. What was after? Duck it's very close for me lamb. between lamb, uh, duck. And then lambs again. Really nice, but similar to duck, it's a rarity. Although a chicken and lamb shawarma. Ball. Oh, shout out to Lebanese oh. at York Station. Oh dear. So close. Shout, shout out to Lebanese at York Train Station who do a lovely chicken and lamb shawarma. All right, okay. So the Gorgeous. game. I'm, the go on. Game, we'll, we'll play this game between you two. So you yes. both have to go back and forth, naming a number. Oh god. Um, okay. Of how many things you can name, and you know we're gonna say topical. We're gonna go NFL team. So Ollie, are you gonna? Oh, if you, got a, then we got. So a, then you, like, do you go back and forth saying how? You, so if Lewis thinks you can name four, you have to go up, back, yeah. up, right until you don't okay. think you can. Okay. So uh, what are you gonna start with? Oh <laughs> god. And how? What's the time in it? Like thirty seconds. About that. I honestly three. I don't think I can. Yeah, Marlon three, Lewis. Name four. See, this is a real mind game now because I think I say five and Lewis tests me. Oh, well, we need, we need a fast answer. We I need a fast I know answer. Five, so I say no. Name, name four, four Lewis. Okay. NFL teams. Uh, Las Vegas Knights. Are they one? No. Okay. They may well be. Forty Niners, Chiefs, okay. Dolphins. There you go. Um, um, Ooh, running uh, out of time. Rhode Island, what's the Rhode Island one? Running out of time. Uh, Chiefs, 49ers, Dolphins, Ooh. and the Celtics. No. no, that's basketball, pal. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Don't know. One. Oh, New York Giants, man. The that's, that's the, the only one I could think of. The Ravens. Starting. The what? The Ravens. There you go. The I Saints. Know. Okay. We got someone shouts Ravens. Oh, what about the Eagles big, you know, as well? A big shout out to the Baltimore Ravens. If anyone's watching. But um, what about, did you mention? Did you say the Eagles? The Philadelphia Eagles? I just fired. Yeah, I don't know that many. I, I completely. The, I didn't even think about the, the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, yeah. What's the Green Team? There is a Celtics in there. The Green, probably the Packers, if you're thinking of one. It's um. See, oh. <laughs> oh, is that a Jack is Green Bay Packers? Rams. The Rams. Rams. Oh yeah. Shit. Shout yeah. out the Rams, so not Derby County. Not Rams. No, it didn't pick up. My um, great hands. Lovely that stuff. could be it for Salford. It's a three-point game, and they get a big one. They Go get on. a big one. They have to defend now. We Go have on. to switch on, on, on to the game. Come on, Salford come on. lead by a point. Well, we lead by a point. There's ten. Oh There's my a... goodness! All right, we are going to focus on the game yeah. now. Ten on the clock, Salford. To my knowledge, they have a lead or are behind by a point. They're celebrating. I'm sure this has got to be in the film. But Ben, can you give us an update of what's like the situation is? <laughs> so we've got about two minutes left in the game. We're one point down. Uh, we're going to hopefully get a three and out. And then when we get this three and out, we'll take the win back. I love that. I love that. Awesome. No, I, I am pretty. I have, I have like the tiny feeling I know what three and out means actually. A third, <laughs> third down and then out like out. You've had use all. So that's one down. That's oh, one down. Come on, come on. That's one down. They need two more. 
two more without them getting to the end zone. It's doable. I think you see, you see how deep they are now. It's doable. It's so doable, but it can just like that. Just coach, one mistake, yeah. one mistake, and it's all gone. They cannot celebrate early right now. I have just seen the coach on the sideline just calming his players yeah, well, and saying, look, we haven't like, done it yet. This is something you do see in a lot of American, American based sports. It's always like the, the last minute or the last few minutes where it just turns on out of nowhere. Go on, Do you want to shit Go Sent long. Good hands. They have to get the stop. They don't. Oh, they do. They do, they got it, they managed to get it. Oh, I saw the two on each side, I was scared. Oh, they have that in the air, yeah. Downs reset. No, I, I do know that, actually, because, yeah, every, like, ten yards. Uh, the downs reset, which I find is quite cool. So why there's so many cones, like, in, like, such a... It looks, it looks kind of random, but there is a reason. Oh, this is a hard one. NFL, NFL players. Oh God. Um, what am I? St- he got to start. Oh, you can start. Stroud. No, no, no. Um, name a number. Uh, three. Past or present? Oh, that is humiliating. He's, he's not. He's not just took one strap. He's took the whole belt. What did you say? Three. I've got it by the neck. Look at me, past the ball. Oh, past, oh, past, okay. Is it? Is it? Okay, fine then. There's a few. I could probably add about like one on past. <laughs> oh, I got my own mic. Um, past and present. Okay, I'm going to go for... Oh, I'm going to go for five. I'm going to play the game. Because I don't think I can do six, but now you've got to go for no, six yourself. No, it's five. Okay, right. I think you could get five. Stroud. I, uh, I could do First three. name? No, but I just said Lewis say it. It counts. Mm. <laughs> uh, Patrick Mahomes. Yep. Tom Brady. Yep. Uh... Rob Gronkowski? Yeah, yes, Gronk. Uh, I, can, I can give you two now. And no, 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 no. Am I, do I need one more? I'm not counting I'm Shroud. Give, I'm, I'm not counting Shroud. <laughs> I actually don't even know what that means. I don't the, glisten, all it, the gloves don't fit. I can Fenwer. Um, <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Kim Kardashian's dad. <laughs> OJ Simpson. <laughs> OJ Simpson. He, OJ, OJ Simpson, Simpson was yeah, one. OJ Simpson. Is that who you're on about? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were like hyping up, going. Ooh, ooh. No, no, no. You, Lewis just gestured a stabbing motion. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. Well, In the yeah. court of law, it will not be proven. <laughs> the, oh yeah, the glove doesn't fit. Of course. I can name you a few more. Well, go on. I got five, but take over. There's, uh, there's Stroud. That's that weird that's guy. Name. Um, I can't did we say Travis Kelsey? I did. Yeah. Travis yeah. Kelsey. You've got that guy that's like named after Kool Aid or something. What? Um, oh, there's all that old Beckham Jr. Oh Julian. yeah, yeah, yeah. Old yeah, yeah. Beckham is who I was gonna say. <laughs> Randy Moss, Steph Curry. I'm only joking. I know he's a basketball Cup, player. Cup. Co- Cooper Cup or something. C U P P. You what? What do you see me do, Lewis? <laughs> I saw you peep. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. They're up 54 now. Some more Tom Tom's crisps. Of course. I might take some much. They go for it. Oh man, I'm back. I'm just shifting. Really red, you know. I feel like there's so many I'm I'm forgetting here. Yeah. Um. Hang on, I've got a good. Right, yeah, I've got a good category for DJ you. Law. Oh. DJ Law. DJ Law. Now, if anyone's listening and you know, knows who DJ Law is, you know ball. Okay. What an absolute prospect. My God. So, I've got a good uh, good category for this game, so I'm going to make you two do it. Okay? Is it, is it uh, football best? No. Oh. Um, I'm going to go for them. Home and away. Sports that Salford have beaten Chester throughout this varsity. Ha. That's a Come good on. one. How many can you get? I'm going to start with five. Six. Eight. I don't know how I can do release it, this because I don't Damn know it. how many. Okay, right, let's go. Eight. Oh, I feel bad because I'm 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 a nerd when it comes to this. Uh, can I put both the men and women's hockey in? Yes, yeah. go for it. Both yeah, stuff. you don't want to increase Lewis, do you? Including men no, and I women's sports. Okay, it. okay. Eight, no, the uh, the women's seconds for football. Okay. Um, the cricket. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. No help, no help, no Thomas. Help. No help. I'm not going to count the men's seconds. Um, I think you would have got it. I can count it for you if you like. Don't want to jinx it, but the netball thing's going on. 
Um, have they won that though yet? Can you? Nah, actually, no, they, can no. You oh, oh, that? oh, oh, oh. Set up. It's a solid oh, throw. It's oh. oh, it's a fumble. It was just too far. Appealing for a foul. Fumble, Ruski. <laughs> so nearly got a touchdown. Guys. Joking. Um, you might have to put the timer on me here because I am. Um, yeah, I'm going to give you 15 seconds. They've got three more to name. Look, running. Men's Rugby League. Yeah. Um. <laughs> How many Seven, have I named? Six. Six. Five. I'm trying to think about last four, week. Three, uh, four seconds. Two. Oh, come on, reach that last lap. And the frisbee. And the frisbee. Wait, there you go. Good stuff. Right. Any oh, other categories for us to little game? Louis speaking, you think of one? Well, what's the question? It's, it's, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, Can you category? think of a category for a game? I would go, I could think of a football one, but I think it's a bit boring, isn't it? Like, Fame. Well, oh. me, and Bix, me and Bix are going to be involved in the basketball. How many basketballers can you name? Uh, oh. well, I, 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 my last one was just really good. What, do you want to do me v Lewis, then? Do you want to do me v Lewis? No, that? shall we do... Oh! What is the ref doing? It's not good. He was in the back of the... What is the ref... Referee, or what are you I doing? I believe when he caught it, he was past the end zone. Yeah, what a silly Billy Bing Bong. Yeah, no, yeah, we, we true, should be. True. We will lock in for you guys. Because I'm not going to lie, the, the lads, look, the lads and lasses and everything in between, they'll, they'll look focused and they're, they're putting so much. Everyone is going all out and waiting for the ball to rifle. It spins, takes a nibble. It's a shame, it's a shame. And that, unfortunately, is the end for the Storm. A good performance. Yeah, they look like they could claw themselves back into the game. There was some, some controversy throughout the game. Oh, yeah. We heard about it. In fact, we might even get an exclusive interview where we can have that yeah, explained. Yeah, no, I don't think their players are happy. But I'm sure they're going to be happy about the broadcasting. You know, we, oh, yeah. we've tried so hard to get them this season. And it was a valiant effort. And guess what, Bix? We've won varsity. This doesn't matter. Yeah. Come on, the Salford. Oh, dear. <laughs> and, um, We're hearing about I'm an alleged punch in the back of yeah. the neck. Well, I'm um, Owen Free. I'm officially Owen Free today with varsity sports. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm, loving, I'm loving the sportsmanship from Chester. And from yeah, Salford. Yeah, it's great to see. No, it's good. You know what? I'm good for Chester. You know, they've really played well. So then, again, like, I just feel like such a knob like having a go at other uni students, like, for this. Oh, yeah, Because no it's like... Yeah. Both, both teams put so much work into 100%. today. And I'm sure they're just so happy to play. So I'm sure I flip the and, night keeper there, man. And as I mentioned before as well, like, especially in a sport like American football, which is not get much representation over here. It's great to see. Yeah, no, we, we tried our best. feisty teams yeah, coming along. And, so and, there. It's and I tell you what, it was a close game come the end. Salford had really got themselves back into it. They had really good spells. Uh, they'll be gutted, but you know what? And they've got to be proud of themselves. Absolutely proud of themselves. It's a great way to end the year for them. But yeah, no, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you didn't mind the commentary. Might we, have, we, uh, listen, we tried our best. <laughs> we... We weren't anticipating it to be that long, but it really, it really was. Um, well, yeah, from, yeah. from us three on the floor. Well, us, how many commentators did we have? We've, we've had, had comment as well. Yeah, but no, from everyone else at the floor, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, thank you very much from Ollie Spencer, Bix Williams, Louis, ooh. Whoa. From Bix Williams, Louis Speed, Ollie Spencer, and, and Tom Turner. For a we have period, been yeah. Salford Sport TV. Thomas Charnock, of course, is never going to not get a mention behind the never camera. Miss, a never lot miss. of long filming for him. Big thank up. you so much to the Salford Star. <laughs> thank you so much says. to Chester. We, like, have enjoyed today so much. It's been, it's been a really good day. It's been really good. And we will see you guys... In the in next video. <laughs> so it's not a uh, Minecraft YouTube uh, channel. Uh, <laughs> Salford Sport TV. We're here. And unfortunately, the lads fell short today uh, for the American football. I'm here with Max. How did you see today? I mean, uh, in all honesty... Today, we may have lost, but we put up 47 points on the board, which is the most we've put up since before the pandemic. And that's, that's honestly a lot, because last year, we didn't even have a team playing a varsity. So, I mean, that's really a great thing. But then at the same time, 
out of those 54 points the other team put up, not all of them were legal. Yeah, no, let's, let's touch on that. You guys were not happy during the game with some of the decisions. Can you run me through, you know, what, mm -hmm. what kind of went happened? Um, so basically, there were a few plays during the game when people would get pushed a little bit too hard because flag football is originally supposed to be non-contact, but uh, we had agreed to use minimal contact. Um, so there was actually a guy that got his shirt ripped open uh, mid-game. And then, like, in addition to that, um, there was just confusion about whether or not the quarterback could run. Like, pretty much every play for the first five minutes of the game that they ran on offense, we ended up having to call back later on in the game. So it was just it was an interesting scenario, but I will give them the win. I will give them the glory for that. They they put in the effort. They took the dub. Yeah, and I've, I've got to say, like, you guys, of course, don't get to play as much. And, well, surely it's just got to feel good getting out there, you know. I know you put so much effort into it. We could see how much you guys wanted it. And, you know, the result may have not been the way, but surely it still feels like a win. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is my first game coaching, and I actually plan on coaching as a career. Uh, like, I want to go back home to America and coach high school and college. So, to me, this is the start of, like, a great 50-year chapter for me, but I see it as a start but even greater chapter for this team. I love it. Oh, that's good stuff. Well, <laughs> thank, you, thank you to the song. Thank you to Chester. And, you know, best, in, best luck in the future. Thank you. Thank you.